Hello everyone, I'm Dan the Man. So, we're three episodes in, and it seems it is finally time for Harley Quinn to get that supervillain necessity henchman, or as this show calls him, a crew. And Harley's going to get one, supervillain glass ceiling be damned. This was a fun episode, introducing Harley's new crew of Dr. Psycho and Clayface. Clayface is a logical character to be in the series, as he is well known as a Batman villain, made most popular in the Batman the Animated Series TV show a while back. I love the way the show played up his past as an actor into the character. His pompous acting persona was hilarious, as was his bit of him wanting way too much information for his character's past when Harley asked him to impersonate the mailman for part of their initial criminal scheme. Dr. Psycho was a less obvious choice to be brought into the show, as he's most known for fighting Wonder Woman, but he definitely worked in this episode. The PR nightmare he suffered after calling Wonder Woman the C-word was a great satire of the PR nightmare as many celebrities are finding themselves in these days. I do gotta say, I'm a little surprised they bleeped out him calling Wonder Woman, and later Giganta that word, given they don't seem to be shy about any other colorful language being used on this show. But we knew what he obviously said, so the joke still worked. Both characters played well off each other, and off of Harley Quinn, making for some great comedic moments when the three of them were together. Both have been featured in the trailer for the season, and are in the preview for next episode, so clearly they're going to be a big part of the show going forward, and I for one can't wait to see more of them. The other standout in the episode was the Queen of Fables, voiced by Wanda Sykes, who was hilarious in the role. Her fate as a tax book was a definite dose of insanity this show enjoys, but I gotta say I love the joke with the sight of her tax office with the name Tax for Free. Asterix, not for free. I don't know why, but that had me laughing out loud. The main villain, if you might call him that, was also great. Maxi Zeus is one of Batman's more weird villains, but him being an egotistical motivational speaker type played great. Will Sasso voiced him, and he did a great job. Some other highlights were the continued running gag of the villains living out of ridiculously huge and gaudy hideouts that for some reason the heroes and police never seemed to find. Also love the cameo of Felix Faust with his henchmen. It was a joke that had me laughing out loud. Also of note was the continued relationship between Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Lake Bell and Kaylee Cuoco continue to nail the Harley Quinn Poison Ivy dynamic that has served both characters so well since DC first really embraced pairing them off. Don't know if their relationship will evolve to what it has in the comics or not, but what we get in the show so far has been great. I will say for some of the clever usage of characters, and given the introduction of Harley's crew, it seems like it will make this a pivotal episode of the season, but I do think it has been the weakest of the first three episodes so far. It wasn't bad by any means, and I enjoyed it, but it didn't seem to have as much of the comic's goodness of the first two episodes. Although it did still get a couple of chuckles from me, but just didn't have the same level of laughs as the previous episodes did. But still a fun watch, as this series continues to be a high point of the DC Universe service. Before I go, I do want to let anyone watching this video who might be a member of DC Universe, consider giving my friend Randall's DC Universe Members Only group a look. It's a fun place for DC Universe members to chat outside of the site itself. The link will be provided in the description below. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. I'm Dan the Man, and I'll see you next time.